It has been such a long time that I've been eyeing this figure, and I'm so hyped to finally have him. He literally is one of my most anticipated Prime figures that I have ever wanted to get my hands on. Finally, Planet X has arrived to the Alfonso Nation Studios. I'm so hyped. Let's freaking go! Alfonso, this is Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out! What's good, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso here. Welcome. Welcome one and welcome all to another episode of my Teletran unboxing series. Guys, we are at the end of 2022. This is one of my final videos of the year and I had to close it off with a grand slam. A slam dunk. A slam gram pam ka chow pow in your mom. That doesn't work. <laughs> but not just any bang. The bang that carries the matrix of leadership my favorite character of all time this is probably going to be my final unboxing of the year and i honestly honestly genuinely am so excited for this figure because i love this character love this design this is the planet x jupiter this is obviously the optimus prime designed from fall of cybertron the video game which is my childhood my upbringing it is part of my origin story. It I, There's so much nostalgia around the game. I have such affinity for the game designs. And this is my favorite character in that continuity. And I'm super hyped. Before I get into it, I want to give a shout out to Shozy Store for sporting this. Thank you, Shozy Store, so much. You guys are awesome. You have been incredible all year. If you guys want to get this, you can get this and more at showsystore.com. I'll leave the link in the description. And as of recently, they've been really like going above and beyond. I don't know how long they're going to be doing this, but this is actually cool. They actually do um, carry the sticker packs now. So if you order something with Shozy Store of a considerable size, chances are you might get a cool little Autobot Decepticon Insignia sticker pack. And they've sent me so many of these because I've ordered so many things from them. And in addition, you have like the regular card that promotes their business. And then you have a cool character card. Like this one is Rodimus Prime. Um, and you can get a bunch of other characters. So it's just small things like that that I really appreciate that they do. So if you guys want to go and support them, I have the link in the description box below for you to do so. I'm going to spare no effort because this is so exciting. One thing I do like about Planet X is that they actually do spend some time to design the packaging. It's not just a plain box with the actual title on it. You have the chest design of Prime and you got Planet X and this one is Jupiter. And yes, baby, I got the metallic version. This is the metallic I'm gonna probably get metallic for every single one of these that I try to get my hands on. And on the side, you have the arm design, which is, you know, the kind of following suit. It's basically like you're looking at his chest and then you go look at the back, you have the back. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. I love it. My biggest hype is the figure itself. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, join me as I unearth for the first time on this channel, Planet X Optimus Prime Fall of Cybertron. I've been playing the game a lot recently and I've been playing Prime a lot. I finally have the figure. If you know me long enough, you know Prime is my man. Oh man, let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. I think I think the seal is broken. Ah, I got a good feeling about this, man. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na Amazing! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not what I oh, oh I love the scale, I love the feel, but that paint is what really just stood out like the sun as soon as I opened and I guess because I got like 
four lights shining on this thing. Planet X Jupiter, let's go. Man, I'm blown, I'm blown away. Blown away, blown to shreds. Ladies and gents, Planet X Jupiter is a win. He is a massive W. I already love it. I don't, I, oh boy, this is, oh, this is so good. I gotta get Megatron. I gotta get Grimlock. The rabbit hole has opened. The rabbit hole is open. I am so glad <laughs> I got my hands on one. It's such a beautiful, gorgeous design already. Like the design is already good. And the original Jupiter is already good. This metallic finish just like breaks him over the edge. Like it just completely like, oh, like I saw the photos. There were some people who got there. So I saw the pictures and it was nice and shiny, but nothing is like the in-hand experience. I adore the metallic finish. Already just the visual presence is a nice solid 10 out of 10. He gleams in the light. It is beautiful. This is not my last one. This is just the beginning. Let's take a look at the accessories really quick. He does have the blade, which is nice. The signature blade he fought with Megatron at the end of the game. You do have nice yellow paint and then it kind of has a gradient and it converts kind of into like a darker orange at the tip of the blade. Beautiful details all throughout the blade itself. You've got the silver handle. He actually comes with a matrix, which I don't even remember if this was in the game. I know in War for Cybertron, he became a prime or he was given the matrix by Primus when they travel to the core, so this is likely the same matrix. And this is the matrix of leadership. If you haven't gotten a close up, this is a close up. Red core, actually. There's not a blue core. It's you got the red core. So the chest just comes right open. It just you just have to apply some force and just pry the doors right open. Just like that. And the chest opens up to reveal the matrix. Uh the spark chamber with the matrix cavity you just i assume you just push the matrix straight in there and close it right up absolutely fantastic you also have an axe integrated so it's like you have this it's like the handle for the axe but you have to peg in the two blades of the axe in so you would basically just peg them in and they both have pegs i assume this is right or you could even probably just rotate it if you want to do have the longer the longer portions of the blade facing upwards this might be how, how it's done. I actually kind of prefer this. This might be it right here. <laughs> They're both made of plastic, which I love. I love that it comes with the blades, like for some melee display, but it also comes with uh, the blaster, which is one of his signature weapons in the game. Come on, baby, let's get it. This is gotta be the path blaster. So this is the blaster and how it basically comes. It looks like this and it's kind of straight. So you basically just take the handle and then you bend it over and then you peg the bottom piece into the top piece like this to kind of simulate the path blaster. Really nice blaster. You got the nice silver touches. You got some red, nice details, very accurate to the game. And all you do to actually uh, uh, put it on him is you take the fist there's going to be like a little doorway a little door under his arm you just pull it out you take the fists you rotate it in like a lot of figures do and the barrel the cylind the cylindrical portion of the blaster is at the bottom and there's a tab on the inside of the blaster you probably can't see it too well but it actually pegs into the into the arm and so you just kind of slide them in there and then give it a nice press <laughs> <laughs> dude, 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 this is absolutely sick. Optimus Prime with the Path of Blaster. Oh man, this is all oh good. This is like signature how he looked in the game. He looks incredible. This figure is incredible. I love Planet X. I am, I, they have won me over. They already won me over with Shockwave. I am really sold with Optimus Prime now. And now for some articulation, his arm comes up, arm comes back down, rotates all around. Arm has an elbow bend, it's a little firm sometimes. There is some rotation at the arms. You've got some wrist rotation, and then you take the fingers, you can pull the fingers out, they're all on one single joint. Leg comes out like that, you probably can maneuver it, but this is how I want to do it to be safe. Then the leg comes up like this, Nice bend, a little, a little, a little hindered for the leg, but it's okay. There is some leg 
rotation side by side like this and then the leg does go back the leg does come out you know you can kind of maneuver it it's a little limited with the legs the waist rotates all around like this you can't get a full 360 although there's a little bit of obstruction so be careful and then for the feet the feet does pivot back and forth like this and you do have some tiltage side by side Hey, it looks all the way up like this, then it looks down really nicely. It looks down more than it does look up, and it, you can look around like that. It's on a ball joint, it looks like, so it can go all around. It does come back like this, but I'm sure that's for transformation. Uh, so you can kind of simulate an app crunch by doing this, but you're kind of unpegging it. But you can do it. It is something that you can accomplish. And now for some scale comparisons to show you what he looks like with other figures. Here he is with the Transformers Studio Series Bayverse Optimus Prime. Looks pretty cool. That's how they look together. Just to give you guys an idea of what it looks like with a Voyager class figure. Next up, here he is with the Planet X Coeus. I think is how you say it. Uh, which is Shockwave from the game. Let's go. My first to Planet X figures of all time. Absolutely love them. They look phenomenal together, and I love how they scale. Beautiful figures. Planet X is winning me over heavy. Next up here he is with the APC Toys Dark Master. This is the Transformers Prime Megatron. Looks pretty nice. Love those two. And then here he is with the uh, 3 0 KO or the 3A KO Bumblebee movie Bumblebee. This is the this is the deluxe scale. Looks pretty nice. Obviously, I won't have them displayed together, but just to give you guys an idea of scale. And last up, but obviously not least up, here he is with the Bayverse. This is the Black Apple Optimus Prime, the Weijing Thunder Leader. Man, <laughs> this the scale is insane, but boy do I love the paint of Planet X Prime. And that's pretty much the scale comparisons all together. This is one of those no-brainer figures that's an easy 10 out of 10 for me. Easy 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely love him. He blew me away. Like, that was my raw, unfiltered, genuine, straight-up reaction. I've seen photos, but I've never seen in hand. And this is absolutely perfect. He's gorgeous. Planet X has truly mastered Fall of Cybertron designs. And those designs have mastered really great renditions of the characters that I grew up with. So it, it really does strike a really good nerve. <laughs> and I, I, I don't have any complaints. He's such a great pickup. If you guys want to grab one, he has been going out of stock. Megatron has been going out of stock. Megatron is just now returning to stock at the time of me recording this video. So I got to get him too. I Man, I want the Dinobots now. This is, this is going to be a rabbit hole. But I feel like this is a good rabbit hole to get a part, to, to be a part of, to fall into. And yes, 2023 is arriving and there's going to be a lot more of these awesome guys that I'm going to be unboxing in the future. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you're alerted every time I upload a video. Big, huge 10 out of 10 and a massive W to end the year 2022. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till all are one. Peace out. Let's <laughs> go. Oh.